Hey, Eric, Nomadic Fanatic here. I was going to do a video and talk about some of the differences, like pros and cons, advantages and disadvantages, uh, compared, like living in a van compared to living in an RV, what I live in. So, um, well, what I'm comparing it to is, I'm just gonna compare it to a Class C motorhome. That's what I'm in right now. It's called a Class C because it's built on a, a van chassis. And then after the cab area, it has, you know, the fiberglass motorhome part. Camper vans, usually have all of the appliances and stuff that a normal motorhome like this has except it is literally in the body of a normal sized van they do have raised tops and sometimes they're extended you know a little longer but it's basically just you know as far as how much road it takes up it's the size of a van and it has everything that a normal rv has just in a smaller situation toilet refrigerator uh stove some of them have ovens um, propane heaters and everything so you know living in those type of things <laughs> it's re it gets really small and cramped like it really gets cramped um, I've lived in a class B motorhome I liked it but you are not fooling anybody into thinking that that's not an RV I mean it's clearly an, an RV from the outside and it doesn't blend in very well uh, you know compare that to just a regular what people call camper van like a cargo van that's been converted into a camper van in other words it basically looks, looks like a normal ford econoline van or you know a, a work van of some sort that you really it, it'll really fit in anywhere you park it next to any vehicle and nobody's going to think anything of it except that's just a van you know Unfortunately, a lot of those don't have all the appliances that a Class B or a motorhome like this has. You're not going to have a fridge. Um, you're not going to have a bathroom and a shower and a toilet and all that extra stuff. You're not going to have a heater. You know, people do custom job vans. You know, they, they can put a bed into it, you know, and they, they, some people are, get really elaborate and do actually, you know, build hand pump sinks and put a porta potty in the back or something. But... You know, there's the, the two main differences that I can figure out right now, and the reason why I'm in a motorhome is because I need all the extra stuff. You know, I mean, I I do like the ability to, to be stealth and to be able to live in a van and be able to hide in plain view. That's something that a lot of people just love. Like, you're going to get bothered a lot less if you're parked in a Walmart parking lot in a cargo van than when you're parked in this rig. You no, know, I just stick out a lot more. But you have to kind of weigh that stuff out, and I... I personally think that Class B vans are just a, a, a terrible com combination of the two. You know, this completely smaller, much smaller vehicle, yet you, you cram all this other stuff into it and then you have no living space. You know, you can't even turn around inside your van because you have everything. You know, I guess you could call it convenient, but for me it just was not comfortable and I got so stir crazy in there. So. Um, the only time I would ever go back to a van is if it was just a normal cargo van that I could live in and park anywhere I wanted to and, you know, customize the inside to make it work for me and my cat. That's the only way I, I could do it. But, you know, if, if you're like watching my videos and then or somebody else's videos and you're like, hey, what's better, a van or a motorhome? Well, that's really hard to talk about because it depends on what you want to do and where you're going to park it. And... You know, do you do you want people to know that you're living in your RV, or do you want it to be secret? And you know, can, can do you, do you mind having a cooler and having to buy ice every single day? And you know, do, uh, going in and using the bathroom at Walmart, um, showering wherever you can, truck stops and that type of stuff. So yeah, I mean, all that stuff adds up. It really depends on what 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 you need in your RV lifestyle, I guess, is the main thing. Me, I just I don't think I can let go of all the extras right now, so.